When my family is craving classic comfort food, I know exactly what to make. Whoa, a big tray of cheesy lasagna. The layering process requires a little bit of prep, but to have leftovers the next day for lunch or dinner makes it worthwhile. My Italian husband Jason will tell you that the key to a delicious lasagna is the meat sauce. To maximize the flavor, my version uses ground beef and pork sausage. Now, let's get started. Set the oven rack to the middle position. Preheat to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large saute pan or Dutch oven, heat two tablespoons of olive oil over medium low heat. Once hot, add a half a cup of chopped onion, one tablespoon minced garlic, and one teaspoon Italian seasonings. Stir and cook until the onions are translucent, about three minutes. Turn the heat to medium high and add one pound of ground beef, and six ounces of Italian sausage. Break into smaller pieces and cook until no traces of pink remain, about five minutes. Season with one and a half teaspoon salt and a half teaspoon black pepper. Add six ounces tomato paste and stir until combined. Cook for one minute. Stir in 56 ounces of crushed tomatoes and simmer over medium low heat, stirring occasionally for 30 minutes. Taste and season with more salt and pepper as desired. Why do we simmer the sauce? Well, there's some natural acids inside of the tomato that's gonna help tenderize the meat. And as it cooks, moisture is gonna evaporate and it's gonna concentrate the flavors. While we simmer the sauce, let's make the pasta. Bring four quarts of water and one tablespoon of salt to a boil. Cook one pound of lasagna noodles according to package directions stirring occasionally to prevent sticking until the noodles are al dente, about eight minutes. I recommend cooking a few extra noodles as they may break in the water. I like to lay the cooked noodles onto a sheet pan lined with a clean kitchen towel so that they don't stick together. Also, it gives them a chance to cool down a little bit before we start layering. Now let's make the cheese filling. In a medium-sized bowl, whisk together two large eggs, 32 ounces ricotta cheese, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a half teaspoon salt, a quarter teaspoon black pepper, and two tablespoons chopped parsley. With all the components ready, it's time to build the lasagna. Reserve about one cup of meat sauce and one cup of grated mozzarella cheese for topping the casserole. Lightly coat a 13 inch by nine inch baking dish with oil. To prevent sticking, add just enough sauce to lightly cover the bottom of the dish. Layer three to four sheets of lasagna, slightly overlapping the edges. Evenly top with a third of the cheese mixture, a third of the meat sauce, and a third of the mozzarella cheese. This layering pattern will keep the layers from sliding apart. Repeat for two more layers. On the top layer, pour one cup reserved meat sauce and cover evenly with the reserved one cup of mozzarella cheese. Line a sheet tray with foil and place the baking dish on top. Loosely cover with foil, making sure not to touch the cheese. Now let's go bake the lasagna. Bake for 30 minutes, then remove the foil. And now we wait. Bake again until the cheese is hot and bubbly on top about 15 minutes. You can broil the lasagna for a few minutes right before removing from the oven for an extra browned crust. Wow. As much as you wanna dig into this right now, it's better to wait. It's a lot easier to slice and serve when it's not steaming hot. If you're lucky enough to have leftovers, I like to cut it into individual pieces so it's easy to reheat for lunch or dinner the next day. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It means a lot when you do. See you in the next video. Mmm, this is so good.